Hi, Dave Sylvia from Cooper Stairworks with another segment of tips and techniques for stair building, introducing a new micro rail bolt for small profile rails. You can see the physical size of the two bolts, the micro and the original zip bolt rail bolt. Just like the original, everything you need is in the package. Two bolts, two patented gear heads, a four millimeter driver, wood plugs, and you can purchase an optional six millimeter driver. Take the instructions out of the package. All the information you need is right on the instructions with some tips also and bit sizes. What we're gonna do is put two fittings together in this case. And I'm gonna mark an inch and a half down onto the bottom of the rail, center of the three quarter hole, then nine sixteenths up. And I'm gonna do the same thing, nine sixteenths up for center of the bolt on the other fitting. Be sure those center marks are, are correct so you'll have ease of cleanup later on. I'm gonna take that first nine degree fitting and clamp it to the bench. You get your choice of a Forstner bit, which would be my first choice, and a paddle bit with the tip ground down. Because on these small profile rails, you don't want the tip of your bit to come through the top of the rail. So a Forstner bit certainly would be my first choice, but you can use a paddle bit if it's available. I use the same tape to mark the depth on the Forstner bit as I did in other videos as an easy guide on when you're drilling. So I'm going to drill a hole into the rail at three quarter inch hole that holds the micro head. After the hole is done, I cut two pieces of wafer from the rail or fitting and I drilled one 5 16 and one 3 16 clearance hole. I'm going to use that as a guide when drilling. It helps drill that perpendicular hole into the rail. Uh, you mock where that's going. I use an awl to just kind of get that starting point on. And now uh, the hole I'm drilling right now is the 5 16 clearance hole. So the, the end of the bolt slides through. I'll get that all chucked up inside the drill ready to go. I'm going to hold that wafer on the engine rail. Um, I'm going to drill that hole in right to the 3 quarter inch hole. Because that's the hole clearance and holds the gear head in place. The bolt slides in, the gear head goes in that hole. Now I'm taking the other thing and up easing in this case. I'm clamping that to the bench and I'm going to follow pretty much the same procedure. I'm going to mock that center. I'm going to take an awl and I'm going to, like I did in the last one, I'm going to get that tip right in the end to help guide that bit in place. I'm just going to start that in there. I'm going to take the wafer that I, I made with the 3 16 hole now, change that, put that on the end. I'm just going to hold that right in place. Uh, there's not much pressure you need. I'm going to drill that in all the way as far as I can, and it helps to keep it nice and straight going into the fitting. Then I'm going to finish drilling it into the fitting, and I'm going to wing that hole a little bit so that lag end of the bolt be easier to go in. Uh, one of my old tips is put a little bit of wax on the tip and then the optional driver slides the bolt right inside or you could use a wrench certainly and you drive that bolt all the way into the face of the driver. Now it's right at the right depth sticking out the right amount to go into the other fitting so everything lines up perfectly. So the next thing you do is to add a little bit of glue on that end, a little bit of glue on the other. You're going to stick those two pieces together. You're going to pick up the patented gear head for the micro. You're going to slide that down into place and using a four millimeter hex with power, you're going to tighten that head right up and get it nice and snug. Kind of checking everything, make sure all the alignment, the flat spot at the bottom, the round rails, where it should be. And then you're going to finish tightening that up with the gun, and you're done. Uh, it's good and strong, ready for the next step, which would be to add a little bit of glue around the hole, three-corner inch hole. The tapping that wood plug into place, make sure the grain falls in the same direction. It'll look much nicer, nicer job. You sand that down, and you're done. The micro is a perfect solution for small profile rails, like the one we did. Uh, an egg-shaped rail, a small oblong, or the smaller, even smaller round rail, it just does a great job. It's a perfect addition to the whole zip bolt family shown here. 
And in September, we're adding the exterior slip fix with stainless steel shaft. Thanks for watching the video. Look for other stair building tips and techniques in the future.